Okay, I'm going to share a small secret with you. Small secret, huh? Um, and you let me know your thoughts. Here's a secret. If you want to know whether you'll succeed in life, okay, whether you'll have success, and I'm not talking of like a sudden thing, like you just won a lottery or you suddenly got a project and you made little money. I'm talking of a sustainable success, sustainable over the period of time. Okay, here's a secret. What you tend to do, and listen carefully to this, huh? This is going to be a short video, so I'm, I'm giving you something really worthwhile. What you tend to do in one area of your life, you will do in all areas of your life. And this is a fact, huh? Okay? The good thing that you do will reflect in other areas. The bad thing that you do will do reflect in other areas. And how I came to realize this is, you remember I taken the project of uh, from January uh, from December to clean my house. I'll show you the update very soon of how my house looks now. I've nearly finished it. I finished my part, and I'll tell you the last from December till now, 30 days, nearly 30 days. I have been spending every day four to six hours to sometimes 12 hours only cleaning. Cleaning, keeping things in order, sorting things out. And I was so obsessed about it, I was not doing anything else. That is why I took a break from work. Just imagine, break from work just to sort out my house, you know, to remove the hoarding stuff that my wife had done. Okay. And I was so obsessed about it that I made sure that I cleaned it, made sure that I threw away everything that is not required, made sure that everything was at par. And, uh, you know, my wife looking at the obsession that I had with, in terms of trying to keep things in order, I literally told her, if uh, you're not, you're not going to be a support for me, don't come back. It's better you be there. I don't need you here. If you're going to make things harder for me. And, you know, I don't want to say this, but I'll tell you every single day, I was giving her a piece of my mind every single day. Shouting, screaming, ah. because I'm a perfectionist. I have to do it well, man. And I tell you, I think my wife, my wife had enough. She's a good girl. She's a she's a beautiful human being. But uh, you know, she has to get rid of this drawback. So anyway, she's. I'm. I'm pretty sure when she comes back, she will do her best to improve in these areas. Because I know she wants to make the relationship work. You know, when, when someone really wants to make something work, they will go at, to any lengths. And my wife is a wonderful human being. So anyway, that being kept aside, my wife, you know, told me this. She told me, whatever you do, no, you do it like crazy. You do it like to the extreme. Your tattoos, you did it to the extreme. Books, you did it to the extreme. Uh, <laughs> girlfriends, you did it to the extreme. You know, so... Uh, even my uh, when I went into marathon running and uh, triathlon, and I took it to the extreme. Bye bye. So I took everything to the extreme. Bye. So the same way, even this cleaning of the house and sorting, I've taken it such a extreme level where I've not only called professionals, I called people to fix things. I planned out everything in terms of functionality. I'll share with you a video. You'll be shocked, huh? You'll be shocked as to... I know it may not look like amazing or whatever, but it's the best of what I could do. So, the main model of the story that I'm trying to tell you is, if you want to know that whether you'll achieve success professionally in your life or personally, or what you do in one area will reflect in all other areas. So, if you're shabby in your work, if your desk is shabby, if you are shabby, if your car is shabby, your relationships will be shabby. Your work in the office will be shabby. Like, for example, even your appearance. If, you're, if you don't take care of your appearance, you will not take care of how your product looks. It reflects everywhere. See, remember, Steve Jobs was always obsessed about, you know, he was a hardcore taskman. So he reflected this on his personal life. Read his autobiography. Uh, biography. You'll realize, even his house, when he would purchase a washing machine, he literally took weeks and weeks of researching. 
does it use hard water or soft water does it how much electricity does it consume how many clothes can it take what is the <laughs> rpm and all that i mean he was so obsessed so his wife said that you know he was a little crazy but that obsession helped him succeed and make you know make himself a legend and apple a company that people still talk about to this day even elon musk the same craziness that he puts into his work i'm pretty sure he puts into all other areas of his life you can't be um uh, you can't be a mess in one area and neglect one area and uh, have the same principles in another area for example if you're shabby in terms of uh, completing your work don't expect uh, yourself to do a good job in other areas it it just doesn't work out that way obsession determination fire the die hard attitude if it is in you it'll be in all other areas so before you say goodbye i want you to check your desk check how is it go to your car check how is it go to your toilet go to your kitchen go to every area of your life check even your relationships and the clues that you get in that area is who you really are and that will spill over to your personal life it'll spill over to your professional life it'll spill over to every area of your life so you let me know if this discovery of mine was right or wrong okay. let me know if what i've told you is correct love to hear from you this is me signing off you guys take care